guys, Jeff Van Dam, that solar guy here, uh, with an answer to one of the most frequently asked questions, which is, how big of a system do I need? What size kit do I need? How much solar do I need? Right? It's all different flavors of the same question. How much solar do I need? Uh, as soon as anyone finds out that uh, I'm a solar contractor, I get this question, and it always usually is uh, followed by, uh, I have a 1,600 square foot home, I have a 2,000 square foot home, I have a 4,000 square foot home. How much solar do I need, Jeff? Tell me how much solar I need. I can't tell you. I don't know how much solar you need based because it's not related to the size of your home. It's completely related to how much electricity you use. So I always have to put this back on you and have you kind of go do some homework and find out how much consumption you use. Uh, the way you would do this is go to your utility and either call them up or uh, get online and check out your bills for the last 12 months, your historicals, add those all up and give, give me an annual or get a uh, divided by 12 and get an average monthly. And then you can look at some of the uh, production values of kits that we have on this website. Or heck, you know, we love talking about solar, so give us a call and we'd love to talk about uh, how much of a system you need based on your consumption um, and your roof space and of course your pocketbook, how much you want to invest, right? Uh, here's an example that I've been using for years to explain why square footage does not relate to the size of the solar system. If you, under, if you can get this analogy, you can understand really quickly why. So we have two, it's a, the story of two houses. House number one is owned by an airline pilot. Uh, he's a bachelor, he, uh, there's no one else living there except him. He's frequently away on travel, um, just comes home for the weekends, right? So five bedroom house, three car garage, uh, rarely occupied. As you can see in that example, large house, low consumption. Example number two, the other house is a smaller house, let's say 1,600 square feet. It's a four bedroom house. Uh, every room has two people in it. Um, in fact, they've even converted the garage to a fifth bedroom and there's a person living out there. Uh, window air conditioners in every room. Uh, from this example, you can easily see you could, have a, you could have a small house with very high electrical consumption. So looking at those two um, examples and comparing them, you quickly see that uh, the square footage at home has nothing to do with the amount of electrical production, uh, I'm sorry, electrical consumption, so therefore it has nothing to do with the amount of electrical production you need from your solar system. Solar produces energy, you consume it, we need to match those up. So uh, again, sorry to not answer your question in this video, but you need to do some homework. Uh, contact your utility or go through your bills if you save them, find out your annual or, um, or your average monthly, and then, uh, then, you, then you can get an answer from us, all right? So uh, go do that and then give us a call. We love talking about your project. Thanks.